CDJX has been in the news lately for the very wrong reason and it stemmed from being pictured with PDD at his house party. Everybody knows what happens at PDD's house party. Naked girls, twerking, doing all sorts of things. Alright, for somebody like Bishop CDJX to be there is kind of questionable okay so um people were like asking you know ever since then there has been controversy surrounding the whole thing um because uh, even pdd ha was has been accused you know by several boys you know of being abused by him sexually and for uh bishop tdj to be there People started asking questions, is he really into the same business as PDD? And this led to a lot of things. People came out, young men came out to say, oh, they've been as sexually assaulted by this bishop who's supposed to be a man of God. And um, one of such men is um, Manasseh Jordan. Manasseh Jordan, for the people that don't really know him, was a mentee. An ex mentee at um TD, at TD Jack's church, he was mentored by TD Jack's, and um, he came out to say that oh, he was assaulted sexually, he was assaulted sexually by uh, Bishop TD Jack's, and though he don't count himself, he doesn't count himself as a victim, he doesn't really want to call himself a victim, but something like that happened to him um currently it seems more problem is looming towards um tdj's direction because um, manasa came out again to say that two new victims just came out you know they spoke they reached out to him they spoke at length they talked about the whole thing the whole happening how it went how they were assaulted by uh, bishop tdj's and as such they want to slam him with a lawsuit let's hear from manasa with a lot of other victims that have been contacting me. <laughs> Just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that <sighs> so it's just a lot to talk about that experienced the same thing that I experienced. They were younger. <clears throat> and it's very hard to talk about these things because most of the time people get overshadowed with the gift of that particular person you know oh they're so gifted they're a great singer they're a great preacher oh look what they did for the community but gifts and callings come without repentance and two of the offenders were not only a victim of grooming as what i described in some of my previous um videos but of essay, sexual assault, from the same predator that groomed me and that violated me as a man. They're going to be pressing charges. And as much as this is an uncomfortable conversation to have, especially with people who have don't know what it feels like. So it's kind of hard to be in someone's shoes and other people who say, well, why now? Why now? Because they don't understand the emotional, the psychological effects that it has on someone. I know two of the victims which shared their story and went through very similar things that I went through with the same predator are ready to press charges and they said that they will press charges. <sighs> this is ministry. And this is what it means to bring healing to the brokenhearted. Oh yeah, people, you've heard it all from uh, Manasseh Jordan. I just pray everybody will have their healing no matter what it is. Everybody should just have a healing from this brokenness. And please to do not forget to pray for um, Bishop TDJ because at this point he needs our prayers.
Inisa prayers. Inisa prayers. Please do not stop praying. If you're a Christian, pray for him. Don't judge. Doesn't justify anything. Nobody's citing anybody, but just pray for him. And um, I've come to the end of this video. Please, guys, subscribe, share, and like this video. Thank you very much.